Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today I'll be showing you how I fill out my freaking planner each day. We'll walk through my morning planner routine pretty much from start to finish so you can see how my whole process works. If that sounds good, let's dive in. And I use my top tabs to help me navigate through this planner. So the first planner I start my day in is my faith planner. I have been doing the following each morning. I go into an app called YouVersion and I start by lettering in the verse of the day. So I do that with a pencil and I look for inspiration in the app for some ideas for how I might want to letter it, the daily verse. And just kind of look over things, see what might work and then get started with the penciling in. This part of my planner routine takes the most time in the morning. I'd like to do the pencil outline of the lettering first, and then as I'm actually pinning it in, I will listen to the daily Bible reading that I have there on the app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this first with the penciling in, kind of figure out how I want this first to go. I'm using the quadrant layout, which is available in my Etsy shop as a printable. I just found that this layout in particular is perfect for this lettering practice. I've tried a couple of different other options, but this is the one I always gravitate to. So this layout in particular is my favorite for this purpose. So next I'm jumping into my daily reading. So I'm just going to have that playing in the background as we go through the next step, which is to fill in the verse of the day. So I've got that playing and I'm just listening. It's a little easier for me to do this once I have it penciled in because I don't have to think as hard when I'm just tracing out what's already there. So it does allow me to listen actively to the reading and kind of multitask, if you will. I tried to do these things separate in the past and it just took a little too much time. So this way I'm able to, like I said, multitask, get a couple of things done at once, all related to my faith planner. That works out pretty well for me. This app, the YouVersion app that I'm listening to, has a bunch of different plans for whatever type of Bible study you want to do. I do a Bible throughout one year every year. I just pick whatever day I'm on and listen to the verses that feed into it. The current plan I am doing is called Living in the Word. I actually did that same one last year, even though I do like to mix it up. But I really liked the balance of having a devotional at the front of each day to kind of get you started. And then you jump into the Word related to that devotional at the very beginning. That's just worked out perfect for me. It takes me about 15 minutes out of my day just to listen to the readings, but it's really not that bad when I combine things and get things done all at once like I'm doing here with the verse lettering. So since this is a little bit of a longer one, I'm gonna go ahead and do a step that I wasn't sure if I was going to do, kind of waited till the end, but I'm going to trace out the letters here just because I have a little extra time and I think it might help emphasize the words a little better. If you wanna know more about my whole lettering practice and how I go about varying the styles of lettering and just doing this whole process in general, do check out my lettering series videos. They are in my channel as a playlist. You should be able to find the ones I've done so far on print lettering, cursive lettering, and then also embellishments. So that'll give you an idea of how I go about it and maybe some ideas if you want to start this process for yourself. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish erasing all the pencil marks. I've got all the 
lettering in for the day. Try and make it look nice and cute. Get rid of all the eraser extras. Add a little bit of extra highlighter here just to beef up the color in this section. Cleaning up a few little items. And I still have, I think, maybe one or two sections to read. So I'm gonna drop this in to my planner and then I may skip ahead because I think I just sat and listened for a good five more minutes as we went through the last verses. The next step will be to fill out my takeaway for the day. This takeaway idea is me taking what I've read for the day and applying it to my life. So as I'm listening for the day from the Bible, try to grab some kind of snippet lesson or something maybe I didn't know before and write it down in this section of my planner of the monthly. I also put in which verses I read so I can keep track of it that way as well in the highlighted area at the top of each day. And then I'll go ahead and just pin it in. I've been using this slim friction pen in this area just recently. I picked some up because the 0.5 tip that I was using before was just a little too inky. So I went with the 3.8 tip so I can have some nice clean writing in this area. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight out my habit trackers on the overview page. And then here's where I would normally do my morning prayer, but I went ahead and did that off camera so we wouldn't be waiting for that as well. Next, we'll go straight to my health planner, which we'll start with the monthly. And here I will track my fasting hours from the previous day also to add in any workouts and notations about my health. So I add those in, do the quick calculation for my fasting window, and then check and see if I have any habits to fill in, which I don't, unfortunately. And that's it for the overview. Next, I'm gonna go to the weekly and go ahead and grab out the page so it's a little easier to fill out. Went ahead and put in the water that I drank yesterday, as well as my workout, which was no workout, and write in my food log here as well. So I'll just quickly fill that in. I'm using just a friction pen in black in a 0.5 tip. I have one last area to fill in, which is my health stats. And there I'm using an app called Health View to help me get a just an overall glimpse of my daily stats to write in from yesterday. So now that that's done, I'll go ahead and put the page back and move on to the habit tracker area of my health planner where I will track my meds and supplements as well as my symptoms. And here I'll just add the meds and supplements that I took the previous day, as well as any that I took maybe this morning. Also go through my symptoms that I'm experiencing in the same time frame from yesterday and or the morning. And that's pretty much it for that section. There's also my daily weight and steps that I put into a perpetual calendar that I'm just going to go ahead and skip since I will do that off camera. And next we go to my daily planner. So the very first spread here in my daily planner is my monthly. And here I like to add in a memory a day. So yesterday I did an airport drop. I did some filming. I also ended up having a phone call with a friend of mine that lasted two hours. just kind of an impromptu phone call. So I'm going to add that in as well. I know I said it's a memory a day, but I never stick to just one memory. I just kind of want to get a snapshot of the day overall since I don't usually have all that much going on. And then I'll also add in a book that I'm reading here, which I just started yesterday, but should be able to finish in the next day or two. So I'll just add that in so I don't forget. And then we'll move on to my weekly spread. And actually I ended up skipping an overview page, so we will go back to that. I just grabbed the wrong tab. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and fill out what I accomplished yesterday and also to make some notes about things that happened like that impromptu phone call. Just add those in, kind of look at what I have going on for Thursday, start making adjustments there. I ended up filming a plan with me that I didn't really care for, so I'm gonna go ahead and film a new video, which is this video that you're watching now, and do the editing and posting here on Thursday. I'll also make time to work on some freelance and create that Etsy listing that's been on my goals list for a minute. Put those action items in for the day. And then remembered, oh yeah, I skipped the overview page. So I'll just go back to that, fill in my habits for those days using the colored pens for the month. And then just check and see if there's anything else I need to cross off my to-do list and also pull out my screenshots that I did in the morning of my daily subscribers and followers on Instagram and YouTube. Go ahead and write those in and then check off my action item list there at the bottom as well. Head back to the daily page and finish filling out the focus areas there for the day. Don't have too much that I really have to worry about, no uh, appointments or events or anything, but I do wanna make sure that I get the laundry done, so I'm just gonna write that as an action item. And then I'm also trying to prepare in my spare time for Comic-Con, so I'm gonna look for some cosplay options and then a camera lens to bring. So I filled out my daily there. I'll also add in anything that I know is coming up later in the week including I need to do a craft stash closet clean out as well as check off anything that I've already tasked for the this week area. And then we go to the very back page is where I have my events and appointments for the month currently on a single page. That is an insert that is coming to my shop soon, so stay tuned for that. Finally, we move on to my hourly goals social media planner. The monthly I use for social media tracking, so I just went ahead and checked off the things there that I needed to do. I also covered up what's coming up so you guys wouldn't be able to see. Then I moved on to the goals overview pages, which again is coming to my shop soon, and checked off whatever from this week that I've tackled and get an idea of what is left to be done for the week. And here on my weekly, which again is something that's coming soon, this is like a kind of a trial run, make sure I worked out all the kinks for this new layout. I have an hourly schedule there at the bottom, which I pre-plan with some sticky notes. And I've decided just to keep those extra sticky notes as I go through there on the dashboard. So it's a little bit easier for me to pre-plan with. At the top, I have my major tasks, kind of a repeat of what you saw on the daily, but more of the work angle oriented tasks for the day. Now I'm actually back planning, as you can kind of see, for what actually happened yesterday versus what I had planned to have happened and making those adjustments. Like I was supposed to work on some freelance last night, but then got caught up in a call with my friend that took way longer than I expected, so I just pushed off the freelance. And I also did a little social media scrolling beforehand, so I kind of wasted about an hour there. Just some things that were modified from what the plan was going to be. I do like to see how I actually spend my time versus how I plan to spend my time because it never seems to be quite the same. And then here too, I'm moving over that filming because I decided to not use the filming of the plan with me I did yesterday. So I'll have to try to rearrange a few things in order to make time to refilm a new video, which is this video here, and also my Sunday video, uh, which I had planned to do originally uh, on Thursday. I also have the tasks that I think I need to complete for the day then normally my last planner that I'd go through is my budget planner, but we won't do that here on camera. 
and that's basically it and then I'm done for the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.